Dan Bricklin's NoteTaker is an app for the Apple iPhone and iPod Touch. NoteTaker makes it easy for you to quickly write down names, phone numbers, addresses, shopping lists, notes, and more. You write directly on the screen with your finger like this. Let's say I want to say that it's a brown house. I write B-R-O-W-N. And you see as I write, it echoes back in red on the screen, but also into this blue detail area, the ink is shrunk down and shows up in black. I can move the detail area by pushing the arrow button, and I could say it's with red red shutters. Now if I make a mistake, I can push the undo button, which will undo one stroke at a time, or I can press redo if I undo too much. I can move the detail area by pushing the move button, and now over here I can add apartment 2. I can also correct errors or make changes by pressing the erase button. And now I can erase black ink like that, or I can press it again, turn it to red, and erase red ink, which gives you finer control. There's also, in case if you want, a delete everything button, but I'm not going to do that right now. And of course you can undo your deleting if you want. If you want to share, you can push the share button and I can email the page. All I have to do is type in an email address and it will send what I've written to that person. I can also add that image as a, um, a photo in the photo album or I can push transcribe and I can look at what I've written and type it in for a contact. And then add that if I want. Of course typing can have take time which is why you want to write it first and then at your leisure add it as a contact. When you're done, you push the Done button, and then you get a list of pages, and we can look at... Here's a blank page. You know, it becomes tedious to have to press that right arrow button, and hard to precisely space letters in a long word. To help, NoteTaker has a feature called Auto Advance that automatically moves the detail area to the right for you as you write. It's turned off on the last page that we just saw, but it's turned on by default on new pages. Here's how it works. If I write N, O, now as I get to the right side of the screen, this gray auto advance area shows up. If I write in it, you'll notice that it automatically moved over and put that ink not on top of what, what was there, but in the new place. So now is the, and if I go right over here, now notice here's the edge. If I put start writing right here, it adds it right next to it. Time four, etc. So you can just right along, and it takes care of moving it for you. Now, notice how small what you write is. Sometimes that's too small. So you have this little pencil. So this is small. If I push, and let's move to the right, if I push the pencil button once, it gets bigger. And now it won't shrink what I write as much. This is bigger, what I write. And then if I push it one more time, it goes to the whole side. Now I can write something really big. Hmm. 
Well, I'm not the greatest illustrator, but you get the idea. That's what undo is for. Big. Now let's look at another page. Push done. Go to shopping list. Now here's a shopping list. Now when you're looking at this with the red ink, the blue detail area, all the buttons, it can get confusing. But if you push this hide button over here, it hides all those things. And actually what you're looking at is a window into a much larger piece about the size of a 3x5 card. And I can actually now move through it to look at the whole list. All I have to do is, let's say, oh, I'm shopping and I want to say that I've shopped, I've already bought the English muffins. I just tap right there and then check it off. Go back here, tap over here, and say I purchased that. Now there's another way of being able to move the detail area. If I take two fingers and do a two finger drag, I can move it wherever I want. So you can just go right there. There's also a three finger drag. The three finger drag just moves up and down like you saw before. This little button down here, an info button, if you push it, it shows you the settings for the page and also for the whole application. You can change the name, you can do automatic advance, turn it on and off, change the background. You can run the application in both portrait and landscape if you want. It's a little narrower in portrait, but it lets you see the whole, um, the whole page at once. And you can set initial settings for new pages and defaults for emailing. There's also a help button, which gives you help about each of the things. There is a try it tutorial that um, is available when you first install the product. And it lets you play with the different features. It shows you how they work and lets you work with them in a safe environment. Dan Bricklin's Note Taker is available as both a free light version and the full paid version on the Apple App Store.